to do. Hello, guys, and um, I'm back with another video. It's been a while, I know, it's been like a month or so, maybe even longer, um, since I've done a video, and um, it's just because I've been busy. So, we're back with another paint.net tutorial. This video, we're going to be um, learning layers, um, layers, and you know, different savings and how you can save it different ways, like as templates or as projects. Or as a regular photo. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to say I got a new recording software. Um, I'm actually just using the free version of Hypercam. Uh, I used to was using a paid, ver a paid software, but it quit working. So, yeah. So, that's um, what happened there. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so, um, first of all, if you don't have your layers, open up over here go to window and click layers right there or you can just do F7 doesn't matter alright so then you'll get your layers window if you don't already have it you should already have it but just in case you don't there you go okay so um, first thing you want to do is this is your background so whatever you want color your background to be you might as well go ahead and do it while you're on the background layer and I like to put a solid color you can do whatever you want just go ahead and get a color um uh, my color window's not up and we'll make it this orange I like this orange a lot it's my thumbnail color actually um it's a kind of a different orange it's not like really bright but not really bright it's super bright what am I saying um but it's just I like the orange okay so that's your background color so you can hit the plus it says add new layer just a new layer button um, and there you go, have a new layer. It's called layer 2. I'm going to call it something else, and we're just going to put text. This will be our text layer for text. Um, okay, so if we unclick this, we won't see that layer. So that's what that's for. I usually keep it, I mean, I sometimes uncheck those, maybe because something's getting in my way, but usually you don't have to. So... Just so you know, you can uncheck those, and it'll make it visible and invisible. Alright, so let's add some text. It's way too small. Make it like a 96. Oh. This, uh, hello. World. Alright. World. Alright, there we go. We've got our text. We're all happy. And everything. Let's center it. That's not centering. <laughs> we'll pretend this is centered. Okay? Just, yeah. We'll pretend that's centered. Okay, um, and that's all you had to do. And that's our text. So now if we wanted to, we could make this disappear. Okay, so that's, it's it's useful sometimes. And, you know, whatever. Okay, so let's add a new layer. Alright. Now, before we go to this next layer, I want to show you something. This is supposed to be there. And you can also use these arrow keys to move up and down. But, um, this, if we move this under, you can't see it because it's under that. It's like a book. Think of, like, a few sheets of paper. This paper says, hello world, this one's orange. Well, if this text is under that piece of paper right there that's orange, you're not going to be able to see this. I mean, even if this was white, you still wouldn't be able to see it. If our background was white, you still wouldn't be able to see this because this is above it. The background is above the text now. So we had to move that above. There. Now, whatever is on this, if it's over this, it'll cover it. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So, we'll do, this is our last layer, and we'll give us some sa shapes. Shapes. What the heck? <laughs> um, shapes. There we go. We'll fill it in with some color. Let's get us a custom color here. Mm -hmm. Pink. Everybody loves pink. There we go. And we got our, we need to rename this, don't we? Shapes. Shapes. There you go. Alright, so we could add multiple shapes if we wanted to. I mean, I could go ahead and add this thing where I can make my own custom shape. <laughs> Looks stupid. Let's add this one over here. Ooh. Okay. Getting pretty crafty here. Whew. I'm an artiste. I know. I know. I'm really good at drawing stuff. Don't even have to comment. 
in the comments. I, I know I'm really good at this. Watch this. Oh! Oh no! History button, I love you. Okay, there. And we'll do some weird color. Oh, no, not orange. That'd be stupid. Um, Stupid because our background's orange. Okay, there you go. So that's layers. That's pretty simple, right? Now, I'm trying to make this really quick. Okay, so you can do Control Shift S or Control S to save your stuff, you know. But if, go to save as because you're going to be using that mostly. <clears throat> okay, so this is my thumbnails folder where I keep all my paint.net stuff because I usually, you know, make thumbnails for my other gaming channel and this channel. Um, out there's my paint.net template right there. One of them is. I don't know. Okay, so if we wanted to make this a template, like something we could go off of, like for each episode, I add like what it's about, okay? And, you know, like this is episode one. I could put like an episode one. But what I would do is just leave that blank and save it as a template. Or as a PDN, not .pdn, which is a project. It's pretty much just a project file that you can go back into and you'll still have all your layers and stuff. None of the layers get compressed if it's a .pdn. Um, now, if I was going to save this as a picture, I would want to save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Anything you want to save it as, but mostly you're going to do JPEG or PNG. Um, so, yeah. So, um... Okay, so, you know, I think you know what I'm getting, look. Like, you'd save it as a template, and then for each episode, you'd add one, and then two, and then three, and you'd save the one, two, and three, you know, as a regular photo, so then you could upload to YouTube, because you can't upload a PDN to YouTube. It's just on a picture. It's a project file. So, or paint.net file, whatever you want to call it. It's still in project form. You can still edit all the layers. So... We're not going to save it as that because we want to. We want this to be a photo, so we're going to save it as PNG. Now it shows on my PNG files that I've saved, and we're going to save it as a Hello World. Well, that was kind of crap. Hello World. And if you can add .png if you want to, I always do that sometimes, just because I think it might not, but it will. And then we save, and we'll get these options. As you see here, save it as a 32-bit, and don't mess with any of this stuff unless you know what you're doing. Click OK, and you'll click Flatten. This will flatten all your layers to make them one, see? Now they're all considered a background. So this is what I'm talking about when um, I say that you know, that kind of looks like a person with, like, a little coat on. <laughs> I just now noticed it, but it kind of... Okay, I just kind of got off topic. But as you see, it saves it as a... Just a one layer. There you go. You got your audio or... Audio. You got your file. So if we go into my desktop... Go to my thumbnails folder. Yeah, I know, it's a mess. Thumbnails folder... Even though half these aren't thumbnails. Um, where's it at? There it is. Does that not look like a person? Like with his arm out, and then he's got like some kind of power? In his, I don't know. I don't know. It's like his bow or something. I don't know. That's weird. Um, but yeah. So, there's your tutorial on how to save. Now, we can s now the thing is, you want to always save it as a PDN first, because if you want to go back and edit, you can. If you messed up, you could go back and edit, and then save it as a PNG. So that's the best thing to do, but for time's sake, we're just going to do it that way. Um, so I hope you understand. If you didn't understand something, please comment below. Please subscribe. I will be having more of these videos and probably keeping up to date on them. I know it's been like a month or probably almost two months since I've done the paint dot in a tutorial, and that's kind of because I've not been getting enough support. But hopefully if I keep on doing these, you guys will support me and subscribe and like them and love them. And the end. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Boop, 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 boop.